Okay, girls, now we're going to look at the breathing mechanism of frogs. Okay, as you recall, the breathing mechanism of frogs, the organs that are involved are the lungs and also the skin. So here we're just specifically explaining the process which happens in the lungs, the exchange of gases. Okay, first of all, let's look at inhalation. How does air enter the lung of the frog? Okay, first of all, all right. First thing happens is that the mouth is closed. If during inhalation, they do not open the mouth. And another thing is the glottis is closed. Now, glottis is like the hoolong, okay? Something like the, the krong kong, you know, the throat here. So this is closed and this is closed, okay? So first thing to, you need to remember, okay? Then, what is the mechanism that happens? Number one is the floor of the bucopharyngeal cavity. This is like the jaw, okay? It's like the jaw of your mouth. This is lowered. So when this lowers, when this is lowered, the volume will increase, okay? So this space or this cavity will become bigger when you lower the jaw okay or we don't call it the jaw here we call it the bucopharyngeal cavity a bucopharyngeal cavity okay it will be increased so when that happens the pressure will decrease okay as remember this relationship volume increases air pressure decreases so here we have an area of low pressure and then what happens is the air will enter through the nose Okay, the old nose will be open, the, the nostrils will be open, the air enters through the nose or the nostril, and then right air enters through the nostril, and so the air is now here. Okay, that's how you draw the end. So out, outside is higher pressure, inside is lower pressure. So the next stage is you need to get this air into the lung. So next stage happens is the glottis will open. Okay, the glottis will open, the air is already here now. You need to open this, which is the glottis opens the glottis so this this diagram now okay so when this glottis is open the bucopharyngeal cavity is now raised so this jaw is pushed upwards so that without opening the nostril uh, okay now the nostril is closed uh, the mouth is also still closed so when you push up the bucopharyngeal the the cavity decreases and that pushes the air into the lungs okay and then the exchange of air happens uh, in the lungs all right okay now let's look at exhalation so after the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide happens so now the lungs contracts so there's a little bit of elasticity there so the air is pushed out right into the bucopharyngeal cavity and it's also helped by the abdominal pressure uh, of the of the 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 frog okay so the abdominal pressure and the elasticity actually pushes the air out so now after that the air is now in the bucopharyngeal cavity and it's after that, because you have air pressure here a little bit higher, so the air is actually pushed out of the nostril. Okay, so the nostrils here are open. So now you need to remember, during inhalation, the mouth has to be closed, that the glottis is closed, it's only the nostril opens to let the air in. And after that, uh, it pushes, the floor of the bu bucopharyngeal cavity is uh, raised, so you push this air into the lung. Okay, during inhalation, the opposite happens. Uh, okay, this after the exchange of air happens, this elasticity, uh, elasticity of the lungs and also the abdominal pressure pushes the air outside into the bucopharyngeal and after that pushes it out through the nose, through the nostrils. Okay.